Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, <clears throat> today we have some news to talk about, but before starting, let me remind you, if you like Barcelona and you don't want to miss the latest news of the team of your dreams, down there, there is a red button that you can hit to subscribe, and like this, you will not miss any of our videos talking about the latest information of Football Club Barcelona. And now, yes, without more delay, let's start. Well, the, as normally I say, when, when I see something important to talk about the women, I talk about it first. And this is the, the most important thing I think we can talk about. The women team have arrived to the sorry the women team has arrived to the final of the Champions League the second or third final if i'm not wrong in 3 years or the third final in 4 years last year we won against Chelsea 4-1 this year we've won everything every single match until we lost the other day, the second semi-final. I um, don't remember the team, but we we lost 2-0. But as we won in Barcelona, 5-1 uh, or something like that, we passed to the final. The point here is that Laporta went to the training session of the women to support them. Actually, if the team wins, they are going to receive all the honors as the main team. They are going to go with the bus, showing the cap around the city, etc. So, what better satisfaction than this, no? The, the equalizer of the football, at least in Football Club Barcelona. But we face a very difficult team, Lyon. Lyon has arrived the last 10 years, if I'm not wrong, or the last 12 years, they have arrived around nine times to the final. Of the Champions League. We are talking about a team that won seven Champions League already. So it's not a minor team. Lyon is one of the strongest teams in the continent. And that very and that makes sorry very complicated match of this. A match that you can see on Saturday at 7 p.m. European time on YouTube. DSZN uh, or TV uh, Barcelona, uh, Catalonian TV if you are in Barcelona. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's talk about other things. Talking about the men's, for example, Tuchel talked yesterday about P Aspilicueta's situation. It seems that the release clause or the extension clause of the contracts estimates that if Aspilicueta plays 30 matches, this year that we we've just well, we are just finishing the 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 contract will be renewed automatically the point here is that it's not that easy because imagine now as Pilar says well yeah the contract is here but i don't want to stay because actually tuchel confessed that as Pilar has told that since they won the world the the world cup the team's world cup he doesn't feel motivated to keep in to be in Chelsea and being a Spanish a Spanish player, and also because Xavi is in Barcelona and Barcelona wants him, etc. Why not? They may open the door to let Aspilicueta go back to Spain. You know, the 32 years old player, I think he deserves it, and actually to help talk about that. But of course, Chelsea is not going to to let it let him go for free. That's something that we have to have in mind. I forgot to check how much is the transfer market, the price in the transfer market and in this moment, but paying around five or 10 million euros for Aspilicueta, in my opinion, even more, but five or 10, I think is quite, quite fair. We are talking about a player that next year, the, he's not going, he, his contract is expired. Actually, he's 32 years old. So, Having all these things in mind, actually, he doesn't want to stay in Barcelona and Chelsea, sorry, etc. 
Having all those things in mind, between 10 to 20 million euros, I think it's fair enough. The price, do we have money to get a Spiliqueta, really? That's another topic for probably another video. More news about today. For example, um, Obemaya, nothing bad. His contract is still on time. Everything is all right. But today he announced that he doesn't want to keep playing for the Gabonian national team. No. His reasons he will have, don't really know. But he's the top scorer of the club, well, the national team. Uh, even though he played not those many matches, let me see if I remember. No, let me see if I see it because remember, I remember. Um, 70, 30 goals. He's the top scorer with 30 goals with the national team, but he has played just 72 matches. It's more or less around 0 0.50 something goals per, per match, you no, know? well, or a bit less. 0.4 something like that so quite good numbers for for the player for the obonian player who this year he has performed incredibly good for our club and now yes the topic that everyone is waiting for now Lewandowski talking about Lewandowski again and again this is going to be long actually because Lewandowski uh, representative agent is in Barcelona Yesterday, uh, Fabrizio Romano said that his agent has been set, uh, seen in Barcelona buying Barcelona t-shirts, not just one, 10 with Lewandowski's name. Uh, actually, the, the information was related that probably his agent or his representative is is in Barcelona because he wants to talk with the representatives of the club. Barcelona has said that that's not true, that they have no appointment with the representative. But anyway, why then he's in Barcelona? Why he's buying t-shirts, no? Um, Jersey kids, I mean. Um, I've seen Manguer, for example. I've seen that he says that what other option is that uh, they are playing, but that's weird. No? I mean, when you you can play with Bayern, going to another club and saying, like for example, the Milan, no? like you, you, I want to, I, I don't want. No, this was a, not a proper comment. The Milan doesn't do that. Uh, which player? Well, now it doesn't come to my mind. But imagine I go to another city I, i'm in in conversations of renewal with another team for example with barcelona and i go to real madrid and i buy t-shirts or my agent buy t-shirts of real madrid etc then yes you can think he's playing with us but bayern sorry Lewandowski in this case said clearly that he's not going to sign any renewal with bayern and public publicly after the Wolfsburg match he said that probably it was the last match that he played with Bayern. So I don't think I don't think this is a game. I think this is clear that Lewandowski is trying to pressure Bayern, and probably why? Because he knows that Barcelona cannot pay 40 million. So that's a pressure for Bayern to say, "Hey, I don't. I want. I really, really want." As the Spice Girls said, "To play in Bayern in Barcelona, let me go." So let's see how the conversations go between Barcelona and Bayern. But this is going to be a very long topic. But talking about Lewandowski, I, re I, I saw today uh, Football Club Barcelona talk, or FCB talk, that the, he was uh, talking about if we can really have Lewandowski and Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong's salary is really high. And that's why Barcelona is considering to let him go. 16 million euros per year, around that. Actually, he has a debt, now Barcelona has a debt with him, around 6 million euros, because we cannot pay his salary. So, the team is considering, actually read in other place, that he's willing to, to forgive that debt if we let him go to Manchester City to get more money. You know? informations everywhere now you at the end you don't know what's the truth laporta was asked about this topic yesterday and laporta said that 
the economy of the club is the most important that they don't want to really let some players go just because of this matter but if we have to so this is a very good very interesting question that uh fcv talk uh pointed out now that can we really afford them and the point was this barcelona is willing to get 400 million euros from barca studios and barca licensing or barcelona licensing merchandise so it's around 200 it's selling the 49 percent of both of them okay so with this what we can get is around 400 million euros as i told you the other day we are going to pay part a big part of that uh, debt with this sell no but also barcelona is waiting for seeing how this agreement with la liga and cvc goes anyway barcelona expects to get all of this for uh for soon because actually we have to make the numbers for the the end of this present season that it's june 30th so we have around one month and a week to make all of this so it means that the next weeks we are going to have a lot of information so if we really get these agreements probably frankie de jong and uh Lewandowski will say if not the other option in my opinion is selling dust personally also we're going to talk about this Frankie de Jong we could sell him but I like how he plays I actually like him a lot we will see you know I will talk about this in another topic we will see but I really really want <laughs> again to see Lewandowski and Frankie de Jong together. Let's see if, if Xavi can get the best from Frankie de Jong because this year has been, for me personally thinking, the worst year of Frankie de Jong in Barcelona. Not, I'm not pointing that it's Xavi's problem, but they have to figure out what's the point there. No? Let's see, and now I want to know your opinion. What do you think? Frankie de Jong and Lewandowski, to, Lewandowski together, just Lewandowski, let him let Lewandowski to stay in Bayern and keep Frankie de Jong selling both of them because the economy of the club is the most important thing for, for us. Whatever is your opinion, down there in the comment section, it will be welcomed. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching us. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Have a nice day.